residents of Irebami Community Development Association from Shomolu Local Government Area of Lagos State on Friday, March 29, 2019, converged at the headquarters of the Ikeja Electric Distribution Company to express their displeasure over the power outage in the area. Numbering about 100, the protesters arrived at the IKEDC premises as early as 7 a.m. with the aim to demand for their rights. Today we came here to let the officials of Ikeja Electric know that we will not stand this impunity, we will not stand this attitude anymore. December 27, our 500 kVA transformer went bad and they told us that it was because the oil went dry. And um, it is their fault, not us. Then they told us to do one plus one. We agreed on the one plus one. Honorable Lowo wrote to me, came to our assistance, gave us a certain amount of money in support. And we were, they were told to bring the transformer, only for them to bring a 300 kVA transformer that is even leaking oil and is even removing smoke. And we came back to them and they've been tossing us up and down for the past four months. And we are here to tell them we won't take this anymore. And we are not here to fight them. We are just telling them that you cannot take 500 kVA away. That is not even sufficient for the community before. We can't take this anymore and we will not agree. In order to prevent any form of breakdown of law and order, guards at the entrance of the five-story building prevented them from gaining entrance. Ire Bami is a notable community in Shomolu local government area. The community is made up of about 10 streets. Olabiron, Hastrop, Eyowuawi, Sarumi, Fadipe, Fadipe Lane, and Odumuiwa, all of which have been in total darkness for more than 100 days. A visit by Lagos Community Update Review Mall. <laughs> So then in fact, even off hospital gone, but last week one the two of us by Europa Mugeke look for Jumbe. Cosino, on fi I know Ije wa gone. And lo je, I want to hear, I want to hear Ije. And lo stuff I own, keke be sheba wa le nwe. See, and lo lawo. It's really affecting my business seriously, seriously, seriously. Can't you see my shila, my freezer? No one is working since December 27. So I showed and everything. Even to feed my family is very very difficult for me. Ojo ju mo ni mo fun 1000 mo fun la petrol every day 1000 la fun la petrol e po 1000 la ma lo e day e si lo su 30000 ki lo de mo la ti fe fi ko e jo e ran wa lowo nkan ta ma se fun wa kale ni no nkan ta gbogbo awon kekere wa awon ti seek jo sile business do a ri se se e jo iya yi po e jo i have been part of that struggle i uh, when they brought their letter to me i followed them to uh ikeja electrics at savo uh, we had understanding uh, that that 500 kV generator became bad, and there's nothing they can do then uh, to to replace it. And to replace it means they have to pay 80 percent of what they are owing. They paid, but Nepa insisted, uh, PSN insisted they have to balance up. There and then, I had the understanding of the one of their staff that. If we pay that money, they will bring their transformer. I gave them one million naira to offset their indebtedness. But unfortunately, when they were bringing the trans uh, tr transformer, they brought a lesser uh, tra KVA transformer. They brought about 300 KVA transformer and it was leaking oil. And uh, I think I haven't endured for three months. They have every right to protest. Back at Ikeja, representatives of Irebami CDA continue their peaceful protest after being denied entry into the company 
preventing normal daily activities of staff and services. At about 8.50 a.m., officials of Ikeja Electric addressed the unrelenting crowd. Even some of them, the way they behave. Even this joint man. Because when they told me this money, honestly, when they told me this money that you people are here again, I said, what, in fact, what, my dear, what I was thinking in, in my mind was that uh, probably the people you went, you went to meet did not attend to you the way it's supposed to be. Yes. Otherwise, I know you will not be here. Exactly. So I keep agitating what must have caused another trouble again for you to be here this morning. So please, I apologize on behalf of the management for those people that have been here. You see, our, our mission this year is to be customer centric because we believe that we are sharing whatever is in your pocket. We are sharing your money, you are paying us. Hence, we have to give you the service that you are requesting for and we must give you that respect and that is what Ikeja Electric stands for. Remember that you people said something, Mr. Ayeli said something and quote. Said the police is here to mediate. Now at this stage we will need mediation. Why? We suffered for four months. And we want the final pronouncement of this transformer to be made today. After a long deliberation, both parties agreed to go in for dialogue. While negotiation was on, stranded staff of the organization were allowed in to go on with their daily activities. At about 9.38 a.m., Honorable Rotimi Olowo, representing Shomolu Constituency 1 at the Lagos House of Assembly, arrived to join his constituents in the dialogue. I've been called in, so they called me and I said I'm coming. I've not taken my badge as well, this is already so I want to be part of the meeting because I initiated the meeting. The atmosphere was full of celebration when Honorable Lowo came out with a good news. Hello, hello, hello. He explained to them the outcome of the negotiation. Uh, after a lot of deliberations, we come to this conclusion. Number one, that uh, the outstanding bill of uh, 500,000 has to be paid. Then with that, they bring in a new 500 kVA transformer before next week, Friday. And sorry, and they, and they need to fish up. And they need to... He pledged to continue to support the community in fulfilling the financial conditions of the agreement reached. By the grace of God, come next week, uh, you got get another 500 new, they said new transformer. And my prayer is that before Upper Week Monday, it will be activated for us to enjoy. The, uh, electricity in our neighborhood. God bless you. Thank you. Despite an initial donation of 1 million naira, he made available another sum of 500,000 naira to restore the transformer. I was part of the meeting. Then we had understanding. They told me they had police. I said, there's no police that will be as punitive as when you put someone, your customer, in darkness for three months. And they are here to protest the satisfaction you are saying is illegal. There's no any protest in the world that is illegal. It's enshrined in our fundamental human right that if you are not satisfied, you can protest. But you have to conduct yourself in a civil manner. And they have done that. They didn't 
do anything. They didn't destroy your property, so they are right to protest. There and then again, we went to a negotiation. Number one, that the 300 kVA is out of it. It cannot meet their requirement. That they need to give them another 500 kVA transformer, which they promised to do on another condition that the 20,000, 20% balance must be paid which is 500,000 naira i paid that again yesterday and i was particularly touched by the agony of a mother a single mother doing frozen business business and she has no light for over three months and as a child in the university how do you be able to feel her because she's a single mother, she has children to cater for, and their own means of livelihood is just frozen business. And frozen business is predicated on availability of electricity. So that singularly touched me. So she keeps coming all over. How long do we stay in the darkness? She was one of the reasons why I first gave them one million naira because I cannot provide her money. She has a business she's doing, and I have to support the sustainability of such business. That, and yesterday she was there as well. I said, for this woman again, I'm going to pay the remaining 500,000, give them new transformer, and they promise a new transformer, 500 kV, come Friday, it would have been installed. The people of Irebami Community Development Association can only hope and pray that by Friday, April 5, 2019, life and small scale businesses will go back to normal.